far enough. He's got a lot of running room. He can out sprint Holmes, and he's inside the 50, 40, 30, trying to catch him as Garmin. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the fourth annual Rally Awards, presented by the Ripon College Athletic Department. I am your host for this evening, Noel Fish. Now, in the last few years, this award show has taken place at Great Hall. But unfortunately, due to the circumstances our world is facing today, we cannot have an in-person rallies like we have had in the past. But just like Red Hawks always do, we rally on. Tonight, coming to you virtually for the first time ever, we will be honoring the best moments and performances of Ripon College student athletes from the past year. Red Hawks, we had an outstanding athletic year with many great achievements, like our basketball program's continued dominance over the Midwest Conference, with the men's team winning the conference tournament and the women's winning their third consecutive conference title. Baseball qualifying for the conference tournament and advancing to the championship game, Maddie King winning the cross country conference championships, and women's soccer winning a thrilling final game in the snow with a 4-3 victory over month. And these are just a few of the amazing moments we will acknowledge, acknowledge throughout this evening. I also just want to take a quick second to recognize several student athletes who received regional and national level recognition. Football's Lane Barnes, men's basketball's Trent Jones, baseball's Michael Barnes and Bryce Swig, and track and field's Callista Kramer were all named to the all-region team in their respective sport during the past year. Trent Jones and Michael Barnes also received Midwest Conference Player of the Year in their respective sports. Women's basketball's Allison Leslie won Midwest Conference Newcomer and Central Region Rookie of the Year. Track and field senior Callista DeKramer and freshman Ben Fisher each qualified for the NCAA D3 National Indoor Championships. Here at Ripon, we always emphasize that our student athletes are students first and athletes second. Women's soccer Kayla Furlano won the Midwest Conference Ruth Peterson Award given to the conference's female student athlete who posted the highest grade point average. Softball earned eight NFCA Scholar All-American honors. And women's track and field and cross country earned spots on the national all-academic team, including Callista DeKramer and Maddie King, who both earned all-academic individual honors. This year, Ripon received 132 academic all-conference honors across multiple sports. To qualify for academic all-conference, a student must have a GPA of 3.33 or higher and be a letter winner in one of the 20 Midwest Conference sponsored sports. Ripon's academic excellence was also prevalent throughout this year's conference tournament. One of the most prestigious awards that the Midwest Conference presents is the Elite 20 Award. The Elite 20 Award is given to student athletes with the highest cumulative GPA participating in his or her respective championship or tournament event. This past year, three Ripon College student athletes received the Elite 20 Award. They were Annika Anderson, women's basketball, Maya Peterson, women's track and field, and Chris Hittner, baseball. Congratulations to all these outstanding student athletes for their tremendous accomplishments. Now we'd like to give out the first award of the evening, the Rally Award for the most forward-focused student athlete. This award is given by the Career and Professional Developments Office to the student athlete who is most driven and focused on their postgraduate plans. This year's recipient definitely meets that description, being a leader on the football field and throughout campus. This year's most forward-focused student athlete award goes to Bennett Groves. Congratulations, Bennett. Hey guys, I wanna thank you guys for voting for me for the Forward Focused Award. I wish I was there and ripping today to accept the award, but obviously with the circumstances going on, we can't do so. First of all, I'd like to thank my teammates and my coaches for always supporting me and pushing me during practices and games. I wish you guys the best of luck next year, and I know I'm going to be there supporting. I'm Hawks. We would now like to recognize the Ripon College Faculty Staff Spirit Award. This award is voted on by the Ripon College Student Athlete Advisory Committee. It is given to someone who supports Ripon College student athletes both academically and athletically and embodies the spirit of the Red this year, to honor the life of our legendary coach and athletic director, we are proud to have renamed this award the Julie Johnson Spirit Award. 
This year's recipient is someone we all know, for she has been greeting student athletes and making us feel welcome for over 30 years. It is my honor to award the first ever Julie Johnson Spirit Award to Linda Jess. Hi everyone. It's been a while since I've seen you, so I hope you're doing well. I am honored to receive the Spirit Award this year. It means a lot to me because it comes from you. And this year it has been renamed the Julie Johnson Spirit Award, which makes it extra special. I appreciate you thinking of me and I will support you any way I can. Thank you for blessing my life and sharing yours with me. I love you. I miss you. Go Red Hawks. Thanks again. The next several awards were voted on by coaches, staff, and student athletes. Up first is the Rally for the Comeback Athlete of the Year. This is given to the individual that overcame adversity or a setback to excel in their sports this year. The nominees for Comeback Athlete are Cassidy Walters, Women's Basketball. Cassidy fought her battle with cancer and won returning to the court just in time to help the Red Hawks win their third consecutive Midwest Conference Championship this year. Bryce Swig, baseball. After missing the 2018 season due to a near fatal auto accident, Bryce returned to the field the following year and earned his first career all-conference and all-region honors. Seth Kostrowski, men's basketball. Seth missed all but five games last year due to a knee injury. He returned this year to help Rippon win the Midwest Conference Tournament and advance to the NCAA Tournament. Brianna Bartz, women's track and field. Brianna dealt with multiple injuries during the 2019 indoor and outdoor seasons. She overcame them all to finish all Midwest Conference in javelin and long jump, and setting school records in the 100 meter, the 4x200, and the 4x400 relays. And the winner of the 2020 Comeback Athlete of the Year is Cassidy Walters. It's truly an honor to receive the Comeback Athlete Award this year. I just want to say congratulations to Bree, Bryce, and Seth for overcoming their injuries and having much success in their athletic careers this year. A big thank you to everyone for their continuous support throughout my battle with cancer. A special thank you to my teammates and coaches for making my first season back one to remember. I feel blessed to be a Rip and Red Hawk. Thank you again. Our next award is for the championship performance of the year. Which goes to the best individual or team performance at a championship or tournament event. The nominees for championship performance of the year are Calista de Kramer, women's track and field. Calista earned all conference honors in four different events winning three of them. She was all conference for the seventh time in the triple jump, winning her first conference title in that event. She also finished third in the 60 meter hurdles and ran legs on the Rippon's first place four by 200 and four by 400 relays. Women's basketball. Rippon's women's basketball team won their third consecutive Midwest Conference regular season championship, making it the longest streak in program history. Maddie King, women's cross country. Maddie won the 2019 Midwest Conference Cross Country Championships, becoming just the second Rippin women's runner to do so. Owen Tooney, men's basketball. Owen played a key role in Rippin's Midwest Conference Tournament Championship game when they beat number 18 in the nation, St. Norbert, recording his second career double-double with 21 points and 10 rebounds. And the winner for Championship Performance of the Year is women's basketball. This is the women's basketball team just wanting to say thank you for voting for us for this award. We want to give a special thanks to our coaches for pushing us so hard this season and all of our fans who constantly showed up to support us at our games. We'd like to send out an additional thank you to everyone else who has continuously supported us throughout the season. We would not be the Rip and Red Hawks we are without you. Thank you! Thank you. Now for the rally for the Breakthrough Performer of the Year. This award goes to a newcomer to their sport or a returning student that made a big improvement from the previous season. 
The nominees for Breakthrough Performer are Allison Leslie, Women's Basketball. As a freshman, Allison earned all-conference honors on her way to leading all of Division III in three-point percentage. Allison's high-scoring offense helped lead Rippon to winning their third consecutive conference championship. Emma Karpinski, track and field. Emma was the top-scoring freshman at this year's Midwest Conference Indoor Championships. She broke school records in both the 60 and 200 meters and was the lead-off leg for the school record and Midwest Conference champion 4x200 and 4x400 relay team. Ben Fisher, track and field. As a freshman, Ben broke the school record in the high jump this season at nearly six feet and nine inches, which qualified him for the NCAA national meet. He also qualified for the finals in the 60 meter dash at the Midwest Conference Indoor Championships. Brody Marks, baseball. After pitching a combined 16 innings in his first two seasons, Brody broke out last spring as a junior, becoming a dominant late inning reliever, recording a school record four saves. And the winner for the 2020 Breakthrough Performance of the Year is Allison Leslie. Hi, I'm honored to receive this award. I just wanted to thank our coaches, my family, my teammates, and the Ripon community for all their support throughout this season. Thank you. Our next award is for the record-breaking performance of the year. This award goes to the best team or individual record-breaking performance of the year. The nominees are Calista de Kramer, track and field. Calista broke six school records between the outdoor 2019 and indoor 2020 seasons. She did so in the 60 and 100 meter hurdles, pentathlon, the heptathlon, the 4x200 relay, and the 4x400 relay. Allison Leslie, women's basketball. Allison made a school record nine three-pointers in an 82-72 win over Illinois College. Allison would go on to finish that game with a career-high 33 points. Kyle Rutkowski, men's basketball. Kyle set a school record this season with most games played and consecutive games played in Ripon men's basketball history. He did not miss a single game during his career, playing in all 104 contests throughout his four years as a Red Hawk. Bryce Swig baseball. Bryce tied a school record with 15 strikeouts at Lawrence, which clinched the Red Hawks spot in the 2019 Midwest Conference Tournament. He allowed just five hits and did not issue a walk or earned run in his nine-inning complete game. And the winner of the 2020 record-breaking performance of the year is Calista DeCrimo. I'm very honored to be receiving this award especially during such a record-breaking year for Ripon College Athletics. I'd like to thank Ripon College for providing such a great support system, especially my amazing teammates and my wonderful coaches. Uh, without all of you, I never could have accomplished any of this. So thank you all, and I miss training with you and competing with you a whole lot. Uh, I hope all sports can get back to practice and competition very soon. Our next award is for Individual Performance of the Year. This award goes to the best individual performance in a game or competition during the past season. The nominees for this award are Calista de Kramer, Track and Field. Competing in the heptathlon at the NCAA Qualifier Meet, Calista needed to set a school record score to be in a position to qualify for the championships. Following an hour-long rain delay and needing a PR in the 800 meters to score enough points, Calista ran a four-second PR with the fourth best time in school history to qualify as the 13th seed in the NCAA championships. Allison Leslie, Women's Basketball. Allison scored a career-high 33 points in an 82-72 win at Illinois College. This was just four points shy of Ripon's single game scoring record. She also made nine three-pointers in this game, which broke the program's previous record of seven and is only one shy of the conference record. Trent Jones, men's basketball. Trent scored a game-high 24 points, six assists, and four rebounds 
in the Midwest Conference Tournament Championship game against number 18 in the nation, St. Norbert. This helped the Red Hawks win the Midwest Conference Tournament for the second time in the last four years. Cormac Madigan, football. Cormac helped Rippon defeat Lawrence for the 20th year in a row by rushing for 259 yards, averaging 9.6 yards per carry, and scoring three touchdowns on the ground. And the winner of the 2020 Individual Performance of the Year is Calista DeCramer. I'm incredibly honored to be receiving this award, especially considering the impressive athletic feats of the other nominees. The heptathlon has become one of my favorite events to compete in, so I want to thank Coach Wood specifically for seeing my potential in it freshman year and then for guiding me through training and competition over the past three years in these events. Uh, without his knowledge and his dedication to the sport and his athletes, I never could have accomplished any of this. So I can't thank him enough for everything that he's done for me and for the team. The next award is for best moment of the year. This award is given to the best individual or team moment from the past year. The nominees for best moment are Men's basketball. The men's basketball team won the Midwest Conference Tournament with a 13-point victory against 18th ranked St. Norbert. This helped Rippon advance to the NCAA Tournament for the second time in the last four years, giving them 20 wins on the season. Women's track and field. The Red Hawks women's relay team earned two first place and two second place finishes at the Midwest Conference Indoor Meet, helping the team set a school record of 103.5 points and a third place team finish. Maddie King, women's cross country. Maddie won the 2019 Midwest Conference Individual Championship, becoming just the second Ripon women's runner to accomplish this feat in the last 30 years. Baseball. Ripon defeated Lawrence 11 to one in the second game of a doubleheader on the final day of the regular season, securing the Red Hawks spot in the 2019 Midwest Conference Tournament. And the winner, of the 2020 best moment of the year goes to men's basketball. On behalf of the men's basketball team, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who voted for us to win best moment. Um, every single guy in this team put in a tremendous amount of work for us to reach our ultimate goal, which was to win a conference championship. And I'm so glad it paid off. I'd also like to give a shout out to all our fans who supported us throughout the year. Um, we really couldn't have done it without, without you guys. So thank you. Greetings, Red Hawks. Ryan Kane here, men's basketball coach and athletic director. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's virtual rallies. I bring you the last award of the evening, the Leadership Award from inside a very dark, quiet, and a bit chilly Wilmore Center. A reminder of how much we miss all of you, and I know how much you all miss this place. It's my hope that soon we'll see each other again doing what you all do so well, which is studying and training for your upcoming seasons in here. The Leadership Award is presented to the Ripon College student athlete that best represents the institution both in and out of competition. This evening's nominees are, in women's track and field, Maya Peterson. Maya has won the Midwest Conference Elite 20 Award for the second consecutive year. She's carrying a cumulative 4.0 grade point average. She works as a tutor in the library and has done research internships with Professor Scanlon. Additionally, Maya earned her first career all-conference honors in the indoor sprint medley relay. In women's swimming, Sierra Boutel. Sierra has been one of Ripon's highest performing members of the team as a dedicated leader and captain. She is also involved as a student athletic trainer and serves as our vice president for the Student Athlete Advisory Committee. She does a phenomenal job and is a major asset to the Ripon swim team. In men's basketball, Trent Jones. Trent led Rippon in scoring, assists, field goal percentage on his way to becoming Midwest Conference Player of the Year and NABC First Team All-Region. He's a three-year captain and carries a 3.0 cumulative grade point average as well. In women's track and field, Brianna Bartz. Brianna has worked as a tutor in the Franzine Center as well as setting up evening classes for math students who need extra help. 
Brianna is also an event group leader for the sprints and holds a cumulative grade point average of 3.99. And the winner is Maya Peterson. Congratulations, Maya. Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, I'm incredibly honored to be accepting this award tonight. I just want to take this time to thank my coaches for absolutely everything they do to ensure individual and team success both on and off the track for us. Of course, thank you to all my teammates. I could not have asked for a more supportive and fun group of individuals to train with this past season. Finally, thank you to Rupin College and the amazing athletics program that we have here. I am beyond grateful for the three and a half seasons that I had as a Red Hawk that allowed me to continue competing and growing as a student and as an athlete. Thank you. We'd like to finish tonight's program by honoring all of Rippon College's senior student athletes for their hard work and dedication in their respective sports. Congratulations to all of our Rippon seniors and best of luck in the future.
Before we depart, I would like to take this time to thank the following coaches and athletic staff for their commitment and dedication to Ribbon College. Without their help and the help of so many others, this award show and everything else we accomplish as a department wouldn't even be possible. So on behalf of the student athletes, thank you all for your support. This now concludes the fourth annual Rally Awards. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you guys all back on campus. Stay safe and go Red Hawks.